Dr. Tassoni is visiting the Prothean in his quarters, Commander. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry. But it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard. Hero of the Citadel. Conqueror of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I respect and admire. I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Shepard, this wasn't your fault. It's not about fault. I was supposed to stop them. You will. I don't know if I can do this, Tally. Earth, Palavin, Thessia. I'm risking everything to build the Crucible, and I'm not even sure what it does. Who am I to make that call? You're the one who was right all along. You fought when no one else would, when nobody else believed you. You can do this. I know you can. Denying reality, Asari. Your people took the knowledge of my people from the beacon. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd appreciate you using it from now on. No, you're not worth it. There's been enough death today. She's having a bad day. We all are. It will get worse. There is no time to coddle the feelings of a depressed Asari. We recover from this defeat, or we die. It was good to see another of my kind, even if he was just a ghost. One more Prothean fights the Reapers. If there is to be victory in this war, it will be for all cycles. The living will avenge the dead. And do not concern yourself with Thessia's fate, Commander. The loss of a planet is insignificant next to the loss of the galaxy. just been completely rocked. Completely? Adams and I were just remembering Novaria and the terrible way her mother died. They are seemed so together afterward. Couldn't have been easy. Mm. For weeks, she told me stories about her mother. Yeah, me too. I have a feeling she'll be okay. Yeah. Hopefully. 
hope so. She went straight to her cabin. She's not answering her calm. Too bad. I've never seen Liara like this. Not even after Noveria. Damn. Can you talk to her? You've known her as long as any of us. And with Palavan... I'm just another damn reminder of how many people are dying. You should talk to her. I just... I'll go talk to Liara. Good. When she went by... I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... How did this happen, Shepard? My entire civilization. The Asari's history. The Protheans made it a lie all along. And I abandoned my people to hunt for the Catalyst. You'd never do that. They're dying by the millions! I told those people on Thessia we'd save them! How many Asari died because I demanded their help? Liara, I need you present. I need your help looking for the Catalyst. I can't forget the destruction of my home. I didn't say that. I want to know if you'll be ready for the next mission. Of course I am. Good. I wanted to make sure. I... I understand. Honestly. I'd welcome anything to occupy my mind right now, Shepard. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? <sighs> Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places, everyone. Quickly, quickly. You the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. So, are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. 
A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Salarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory senses. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe, now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Robert's half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Vorcha scum. Prepare for death. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Glad you can make it. I've got us set up.
Yeah. It's not quite the same in this thing with the safeties on. Ha! But it ain't bad. You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. The big, deep boom to let you know everything's gonna be okay. Thanks for coming, Shepard. Wouldn't have missed it. Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on VidCon. Cerberus has taken one of our secret communication facilities. All campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies. What do we know? We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off-site. A civilian? Yes. Patching her through. Miss Sato, what's happening down there? I'm staying in, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. It's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out.
come in. Miss Sato, are you there? She's too scared to break radio silence. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. You lose your nerve now, thousands will die. Now tell me what I need to know. Yes. Yes, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time... Just hurry. Please. Commander, I think I can make a run and get her. Do it. Lieutenant. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Misato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. Looks like she isn't letting the Cerberus attack scare her off. I commend her for that. Hack it out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. What do we know, Shepard? Aiding? The Sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. 
the facility went offline recently and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in Sanctuary. We don't leave until we're one step closer to Cerberus. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. This is Oriana Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, command, but no activity. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. There's a lot of destruction. Some sort of battle. Yeah. Everyone hear that? The radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Pursuing them. About time they started killing each other. from security cameras. A reception area for sorting out the arrivals. The numbers are incredible. Come on, let's keep looking. we saw outside must have been waiting to get in. But where are all the people they brought? Got a fragment of something here. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick, that's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. Got another one. We'll land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. They warned us about no comms and processing. What I tell you, Something ahead, Shepard. Casualties, both sides. Managed to 
get this far. You must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay, so we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? A security panel. Shutting it down. What's happening? They needed to hide something. Back door into the facility. Let's move. Reaper technology. This is going to be bad, isn't it? This has to be a command center. No power, though. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. What's happening? Those are the refugees. They're just killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. For the Reapers. They could destroy the facility if they escaped. It seems like a stupid risk. The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out. Shutting down the power. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. We should keep them out of the entrance as well. Yet, but we are making progress. 
Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. To exert control over Reaper forces. Amazing. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. 
As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know where the Reapers attack Sanctuary. They must have discovered what Cerberus was doing. That's bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Shepard, there's more here. Damn it. Are we ready for him? releasing husks. Shepard, up ahead! Stay out of 
Shepard. A commander Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Leng didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her, you die. Let her go and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right. Take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal. Ah! No deal. Did he hurt you? Are you all right? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You all right? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it. But I'm grateful you're here. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. <sighs> Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up. And Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. With everything at stake, you come in here alone? That was foolish. Ariana was in danger. You saw what my father was capable of. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? The research data is gone, but I've still got basic facility information, like shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. It's not a direct link, but it's something to work with. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. If you act fast, you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. Okay. I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by Cortez, we father, need to pick up Henry at the tower. Wilson. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. 
Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful, Intel Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard. I heard about Thessia. We were so close, Anderson. So damn close to ending this war. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I knew going in what the Reapers were capable of, but I also knew what I was capable of. And losing the Asari homeworld wasn't in the playbook. Which is why you took the war to Cerberus. We still don't have the catalyst. Shepard, you know how many times I got my ass handed to me over the years? Surviving the first contact war back in the day was a goddamn miracle. They said I was a hero. I just felt lucky to get out alive. So maybe Kai Lang did beat you. What of it? It could cost us the war. These guys in the Resistance, they know it's a losing proposition. They know the chances of seeing tomorrow are slim to none. But we all signed up anyway. Hell, I'm sitting in London right now staring at rubble. I was born here. And it's looking like I might die here too. So I say point us at the Reapers and we'll take our chances. I'm not willing to bank this whole war on a hope and a prayer. Well, truth is, we could use a bit of both right now. Not a lot of time left, Shepard. Find that catalyst. I will. Anderson out. want to check on her. fighting alongside them, but I want to be here, you know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um, he's MIA. <sighs> he's presumed. Tell me what happened. Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. He left Mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. It's all we know, but it's, uh, it's enough. She's alone in this now. In all this. It's terrible. But you can't help them, Caden. You have to keep it together. I need your head in the game. Noted. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. So use it. That's how I cope. I think about how Earth looked. And how it's gonna look when we get back. Guns blazing the whole galaxy behind us. <laughs> yeah. And my students. Well, whatever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, there's going to be one hell of a reunion party. Head in the game, Major. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you along, Major. Shepard! 
Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Have we heard from Agent DeTrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Excellent find, Commander. The information network terminal has been updated. Shepard, never a dull moment when the Normandy's on tour, is there? Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You can't let them know that. If people lose confidence in their leaders, this war is over. I told you once that I wasn't a very good Turian, Shepard. I never could follow bad orders. Now I'm the one giving the orders. And it shouldn't matter what anyone thinks about them. Except someone's dying at the end of every sentence. And someone's making it out alive, too. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. 